steam and mechanization, mass production, electricity. These are the three previous industrial revolution. Welcome to the fourth industrial revolution, the robotic revolution. Each revolution has led to mass unemployment, social unrest, and uncertainty. However, we have always recovered. And as a result, new forms of employment were created, our education standards have risen, and our living standards have increased dramatically. However, this won't stop some people being worried. It's natural. It's okay to be worried. A lot of people are worried that they're not going to be fined not going to be able to find a job, that they're going to need to learn how to code, and that everyone has to be a programmer or a tech genius just to find a job. Thankfully, our future isn't one where everyone's a programmer. Our future is working with robots, and not just making them. Here's an example. What if you could tell someone that they don't have to do the same boring job that they hate, but instead work in the field that they've always wanted to work in? Choose a job you enjoy, and you never have to work another day, Mark Twain. Sound familiar? It's funny, when I said that, about half the audience just rolled their eyes and the other half were too busy cringing. <laughs> no one can deny that robots are going to replace some jobs. But it'll be the boring, mundane, dangerous jobs that require no creativity and kills all the imagination. Here's an example of when machines were replaced by people, when people were replaced by machines. In the 1800s, 80% 80 of the US labor force worked on farms. Today, it's a mere 2%. This huge change was caused by the introduction of mechanization. And obviously, it didn't destroy the economy. It made it better off. Food is now cheaper than what it was relative to the income. This means that people now have money to spend on other things. The farmers transitioned to jobs in other areas. And new generations found jobs that didn't even exist before. Kind of makes you wonder, is it always necessary for a lot of people to get fired for people to change? There's some food for thought. In any way, automation has lots of limitations right now. Robots are expensive, inflexible, and require a lot of maintenance. And although they're highly productive and rarely make mistakes, that one task that they've been given is the only thing they can do. So they're only really useful in jobs that are highly predictable. And when an event occurs, the same procedure has to be done every single time. So there's only one variation that robot can do. So a high volume of that event is required for it to have any value. As humans, we are highly adaptable, highly flexible, and can react to situations in which there isn't any set instructions. There isn't no strict procedure. This means we can do things on the go, and we don't need someone telling us exactly what to do. Robots can be used to help us when we work, to do the boring parts. For example, a lot of industries still require a hard copy of all their documents. And whenever a change is made, the original documents must be found, retrieved, and modified. This takes hours, if not days worth of work, to retrieve a simple document. Now, imagine we had a robot that could go and search through all the documents can search and find the necessary documents in a matter of minutes. Think of the time, resources, and energy that would be saved. Now, the robotic revolution isn't about robots replacing everyone. It's about robots helping us being more productive, so we can do the parts of work that we really enjoy. Here's a possible future. Imagine we get robots to be so productive that we only need to do the problem solving and creative work. The work that requires imagination, creativity, passion, the very things that make us love work. A future where we can get robots to do so many things that we can work fewer hours in a day. Doesn't it sound wonderful to be able to get off work at three or two? not being having to slave in the office for hours and hours, spend more time with friends and family, more time to do sport and leisurely activities. In conclusion, I'm going to leave you with one final thought. Something to keep at the back of your mind, something to think of after this talk. With our ever-growing need to produce more, in order to sustain our ever-growing population, robotics may be our only answer. 
Thank you very much.